Good morning. My name is John Duby, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, you've heard of the weeping prophet. Well, my wife calls me, calls me the weeping, weeping pastor, so uh, bear with me and pray uh, for me as I give my senior testimony here today. Uh, the Lord was gracious in 2005, after three years of marriage to my wife, to, uh, to save us together uh, as a team. And so I'm so grateful to the Lord uh, that he did this. Uh, he, we were saved in a home Bible study. Uh, uh, we were saved in a home, home Bible study of, in February of 2006. And uh, praise God, we were actually baptized together. Uh, so our, our, our walk of faith has been one together. And that was a, a gracious gift from the Lord. Uh, after, after being saved, it wasn't long until the Lord provided me an opportunity to teach a home Bible study. And so I was teaching in a home Bible study, and that was really the, the venue that the Lord used uh, to get me out to seminary and uh, to call me to pastoral ministry. And like so many of you, uh, I came out to a shepherd's conference. In 2009, my pastor, John Politan, uh, brought me out to a shepherd's conference. And uh, I got home, and I couldn't get the idea of seminary out of my bones. It was just all over me. It was all around me. Uh, within weeks, I was, I was on the website. I was talking to people, uh, talking to John, my pastor, and he affirmed that I needed to apply. And so uh, we applied, and in May of 2009, we were accepted to the Master's Seminary. Praise the Lord. Uh, and really, it was at that point, uh, being accepted, that the Lord just, the, the door was open uh, for us to come out here. I mean, so many things worked out for us. Uh, it's just a testimony to God's goodness. Uh, we sold our house in the midst of a, one of the worst areas of recession. Uh, that was painful, but we sold our house, and the Lord provided us with funds from the church around us to get us out, uh, out here. Uh, so many, the financial provision was just absolutely overwhelming to get out here. And then while we've been here, too, I recall uh, it, talking to Christine Dixon, like so many of you, uh, as I was registering my first semester, and I, she had asked me, kind of in small talk, what are you going to do out? You know, what are you going to do for work? So I told her I was a house painter. And she said, well, you can paint my house. And so uh, that was it. That was the beginning of the Lord's provision. I painted her house, was blessed to be, to meet her husband, Bruce, and to be in their home. And it just kept going. I just kept painting houses and pa had so many opportunities uh, from the Lord. Uh, he just provided in, in so many ways. Um, we had a man once we came out here who actually, we didn't know this coming out here, but he offered to, to give us some money and he actually covered our rent for uh, two and a half years, nearly the whole time we were out here. Had no idea upon coming out here that that would happen. When, he, when it turned out that he couldn't make that payment, the church, we went back home and the church there uh, came together and they supported us. And so, uh, by God's grace, uh, the financial provision has just been overwhelming while we've been out here. Uh, even when we sold our house, the woman who bought our house, who had, we had not even met, uh, we were out here, and I got a letter in the mail from her with a check in it. And I had not even met this woman. She said, well, we heard through the real estate agents that you were coming out to seminary and that you were having a tough time financially, so we just wanted to send you money. And, and I, to this day, I don't even know who she is, and I can't even thank her because they ended up moving out of the house right away. I sent her a thank you card, and it came back. So I, I don't even know, but that's just been, that's been our, our testimony uh, this whole time. Now, beyond all those financial things and the way that the Lord provided here for us, uh, there's a couple things, uh, maybe more specifically, that I might want to mention to you guys. Uh, the first is ministry while we've been out here. Um, when I got here, I, I got right. I got the opportunity right away to be an intern in the juniors children's ministry here at Grace Community Church, and uh, we've served in that ministry the entire time we've been here, and it's been uh, it's been a joy to be a part of that ministry. Uh, the the leadership that was around us, uh, that is around us, Kirk Linehan, Rich Harrisick, the elders here at Grace Church, and most recently Matt White. Uh, those men have just they've given me so much, and I've learned so much from those men. So thankful. Uh, one of the things that I love about that ministry is, and I would commend you in this, is that I've, I've, I've had an opportunity in seminary to fall in love with people. And uh, that's just been a great joy. And, and, I, and I really believe, uh, men, that if, you, if you're in seminary and you haven't found a ministry where you can fall in love with people, or if you haven't fallen in love with people in that way, then there's a, there's a part of seminary that you're missing. And you need to find a ministry where you can really fall in love with those people. Uh, because it's just that's just been instrumental in so many ways in my life. Uh, even affirming, affirming my calling, even this weekend, uh, preaching and then having the staff come to me and say, whoa, John, there's one thing we are sure about. It's that you're called to pastoral ministry. It's like, wow, that's, that's amazing that the Lord's done that, uh, giving me that opportunity. 
Uh, beyond ministry, it's the men around me. Uh, you, you men have been such an encouragement to me, but specific men, uh, the, the guys in uh, children's ministry that I've served with, Tim Ross, Tim Lee, Lloyd Murphy, Michael Martin recently, uh, even Tim Counts, who's now gone, and, and most especially Bud Moss. Uh, you guys know Bud, but uh, me and Bud have served uh, shoulder to shoulder uh, in, the, in the juniors ministry, and he has been such a, such a blessing in my life. Uh, as my wife will tell you, I'm not really a children's guy. Uh, I'm, I'm a little too uptight for that. Uh, but, but Bud saved that ministry because uh, he came in, and, and he's not uptight. And so he just, he, me and him being together, it's just been such a blessing. Uh, one thing I think I can say this is uh, uh, I want to thank Bud especially because uh, he, he made seminary fun. And uh, for that, I'm grateful. Uh, he's a, he's a, just a tremendous blessing in my life. Uh, as I close, I just want to say a couple, a couple things about my wife, uh, Kate, whom I love. And uh, this uh, uh, very painful time just being in seminary, as you guys know, uh, spiritually, emotionally, so many things swirling around. Uh, and I quit often. Uh, every summer I quit. Uh, <laughs> and and I, can, I, I know that I, I can't count the number of times that I sat on the couch in tears with my wife. And she would, she would look at me and she'd say, I don't know what's going on, John. I don't, know, I don't know anything. But what I do know is that I know that you're called to pastoral ministry. I know that this is your calling. And she never doubted me. And so for that, Kate, I'm so grateful that I had a woman that this entire time she stood next to me. She never played any games. Uh, she didn't stay up often, like some maybe your wives. But she never <laughs> doubted. She never doubted my calling. And so... For that, I'm very, very thankful. Thank you, men. Bless the Lord.